<clears throat> hey everyone, it's Hillary de Fraser's The Marketing Mom. I'm glad you're able to join me today. I hope everyone is having a fantastic Friday. It is Friday. Thank God it's Friday. And guess what? Guess who's celebrating a birthday tomorrow? <laughs> yes, yours truly. So just making sure we are live. Yes, I see us on Facebook. All right. So we are live and all ready to go. And today what I'm sharing with everyone i'm just going to make sure right sharing with everyone you know that fantastic thing that we talk about and recently in elite marketing Pro, so those of you who don't know me i am a social media manager i am the social media manager for elite marketing pro actually i am a digital marketing expert and trainer i teach moms how to utilize social media and all our new modern online marketing strategies that we have in today's day and age okay to build your business online and why do i do that because i want to see a Every mom at home. It's not that I'm not a feminist. It's not that I'm a true feminist, and that I I appreciate and understand what mothers and women are here for. All right. Um, and they, they, yes, there'll be people who disagree with me, but I firmly believe that the society is built on the backs of women, strong women who are building strong homes, intelligent, smart, responsible adults. All right. So don't mind the noise in the background. We've got a busy street today because it is Friday and we've got a lot of things happening. So what am I talking about today? And you're going to see that in the description there. Are you marketing your business in the stone age? And why I'm talking about this is because recently on the Daily Dose of Awesome for Elite Marketing Pro. So again, for those of you who don't know, I am the social media manager there. So um, I'm very much immersed in everything that they do over there. And the reality is one of their speakers was talking about, you know, the difference between this old age versus new age marketing. And he pulled the example, first of all, because, you know, that morning he, he got a, a directory, a full directory on his um, front lawn. Now, the funny thing is we've got affiliates from all over the world, but mainly a lot of our affiliates are in the United States of America. So in the United States of America, phone book seems like an archaic type of thing. But for those of my followers who are in Trinidad, who are in the Caribbean, we know that we got a phone book and we actually need to use it. Because if we try to go online to find a company, you're probably going to find, you know, a lot of other things about Facebook comments about the company. But you're not going to find the company itself that you're looking for very rarely. All right. And this has been going on for the last 20 years, probably. But in spite of all of that, and, you know, we have the wonderful Internet. We still have the latest cars. We still have the latest clothes. We still have the latest video, um, TV, TV programs. We still have the latest cell phones. All right. And yet our businesses are operating in that realm of you absolutely must have the telephone directory. Now, it could be that, you know, there's a reason for that in that, you know, their businesses that are getting paid because of the cell phone, the, the um, telephone directory existing. But let's let's fast forward you know it's like we are in 2017 and regardless of what country you're in and what was so interesting is that when he was sharing that story i was one of maybe two of the 80 live viewers who actually raised their hand and said we still use the telephone directory and obviously both of us we weren't living in the u.s we're living in countries that are supposed to be first world countries but are not and that's because we are operating in the stone age, but we're living in 2017 in the modern times, okay? So how do you as a business person try to push that forward? Because the reality is your customers are expecting more and more to find you online, all right? And in our age, in our country, you know, it's very difficult to find businesses, to find information online you still have to either go physically to the store or you have to use that physical phone book now let's think about you as a business person you know you're trying to get your name out there trying to get your business out there and the reality is there are not a lot of systems in place for that even though your customers are expecting you to be on facebook to have your own website to have different things okay so are you really marketing like you know so we think about what's happening all right i mean we do everything online now even though we live in trinidad we can buy 
goods and services on Amazon and have them shipped to Trinidad. Even though, you know, we, we now have home delivery. Now, these are things that have existed for a good number of years, probably in the US, all right? Amazon Fresh has just revolutionized it. But grocery home delivery have has existed for a while. There are a myriad of services that you can buy online and just have it shipped to your home. Now, that may be great for the lazy person who doesn't want to leave their house, or even for the people who clinically speaking, they have those problems where they can't physically leave their house or you know they can't be exposed to elements or whatever unfortunately for them but let's look again at how this is going to work for your business okay your business is in you, you we're in 2017 so if you own a business you're owning it in 2017 and what is hot in 2017 social media the internet all right what is not hot in 2017 is a telephone directory is dropping flyers on people's cars and their parking lot when they go to church is running down people in in parking lots you know when they walk outside of the grocery store okay now i mean that may or may not still work but the reality is all of those are what we call kind of like shotgun marketing all right you're just blasting everything out there and hoping that somebody catches. Using the internet allows you to actually attract qualified leads, okay? Now, that could be a lead for any business, and this is where it's important to understand. So, like, last night in my coaching, my Facebook coaching, we were sharing how Facebook allows you to take your ideal customer and then find where they are, find where they are, where they're hanging out, who they, what groups they're in, and not just find one, find 10,000 of them, okay? And that is the beauty of Facebook marketing, okay? And online marketing, you're able to attract qualified leads. What's the use, all right? Now, a lot of people may say, okay, well, if I'm in a car detailing business, for example, this happened this week when we were at church, this weekend at church. Every every time we went to church, it didn't matter whether, you know, they saw the, the flyer on the car or not. I collected maybe about three flyers because we had to go at different times um, for different reasons. And there was a car detailing business that obviously they were allowed to come into the parking lot and place flyers on the cars. Now, one may think, okay, you're a car detailing business. Cars probably need to get washed and detailed, so the best place to put that is on people's cars. Now, what would have been even more ideal was to maybe look at everybody's car and see how dirty they are, how clean they are. That would be a more qualified lead, but we're still talking Stone Age marketing. You printing out um, how many ever flyers and just throwing them out there. You might as well put the flyers in an airplane, all right? One of those low flying airplanes, you know, dust cropper type airplanes. I spent a lot of time in Illinois, um, so I remember seeing those. They fly really low. And you just pack your plane with all of the flyers and you just have that plane going over like a dust cropper and just dumping the flyers out, right? Okay, they used to do that in the war to scare people, actually. All right, and you just dump the flyers out and then you just hope that you get sales, right? Well, that's old school marketing. That's what marketing through telephone directories is. That's what just um, TV advertising with no set of targeting, no understanding of analytics. That is what banner ads have become now because they're not utilizing analytics. That's what directories are, all right? You don't know who really wants that service. But when we're using the techniques, the modern techniques of online marketing, you could find out before you even spend a dime on your advertising or any marketing campaign, you could find out who really wants my service. And then what you end up spending is spending money on leads, on people who actually want your product or service, all right? So that is, you know, the attraction marketing principles play a wonderful role into our modern online marketing strategies. I'm not saying that, okay, the the one-on-one -on -one conversations don't work, but it's great to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with somebody who actually cares about what you have to offer, isn't it, right? It's the best thing because then you have somebody who's attentive, who wants to listen, and who cares, 
really cares that okay you know i'm really interested in this okay i mean network marketers they go through this all the time they they go and they talk to their family and friends they they join the nfl list no friends the the nfl league um no friends left all right no friends or family left all right and then they wonder okay then why it is that i'm not getting any business so why is it that i'm not growing because you did not find out if these people even wanted to even hear about your opportunity and nine out of ten times they don't but re regardless of what opportunity you're in know that there is somebody out there who wants to hear about your opportunity who wants to hear about your product or your service okay you've got your customers out there but you have to find them using attraction marketing principles and then and then selling to them they become a lead and then you sell to them there's no use doing what we call the shotgun marketing you know that's one of the first things one of the first things on our 10 day boot camp that we share shotgun versus sniper marketing it's like i mean who always gets the target not the sniper the shotgun people they just like bam 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 and it's just like okay let's just hope and pray that we get somebody back okay that's not what you want in your business okay that's not what you want in your business and if you continue to use these old school methods all right it's like today you know we bought the physical newspapers for what reason no because all the news that we need is online everything that you do now is practically online so if you are doing your business in an offline especially the marketing in an offline fashion but everybody is online then you you're missing the mark somewhere okay you're missing the mark because you can't be operating your business and living let's think about your life you're living in 2017 you're on Facebook maybe eight hours out of the day don't lie trust me you're on you're on Facebook eight hours of the day okay whether it's just to scroll for two seconds, but then your business is printing flyers, is putting flyers in paper newspapers, is um putting ads full 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 page ads in, in phone directories. Your business shouldn't be doing that. Your business is putting ads on on television where there's really no target. All right. Now, granted, all of these things work. Maybe TV would be a better place if we didn't have any of the ads, right? I was telling my husband that this morning. I'm like, I now know why the TV is the devil. Every time an ad comes on, all we hear is, mommy, I want that. Mommy, I want that. Okay. So maybe our television experience would be a little better if there were no ads that were just irrelevant. Okay. But so what you want to do with your marketing is bring it into 2017. Leave the storage back there. Okay. It's done. We're not going back there. You know, so let's bring your business into 2017. You have brought yourself into 2017, your brand new car, your new clothes. Cause last time I checked, we're not running around in grass skirts or anything. All right. Um, you, you got all the new fancy things, the cell phones, the iPhones, the Samsungs. Well, how about you bring your business right there too, okay? If you want to learn more about how to do that, to get started today, just click on the link in the description of this video, Attraction Marketing Formula Bootcamp. It's going to send you a bootcamp. It's the foundation of how you can learn attraction marketing online, how to utilize it online. And step one, I'm just going to give you that so that, you know, you, you get that one time off the bat it starts with value okay and that's what we kick off with on monday value what is value all right so have a great weekend and thank you everyone for joining this week um it's been a blast week and again for those of you who don't know me i am hillary the marketing mom i'm a social media manager um digital marketing strategist and business coach and trainer for my online marketing moms all right so you have a great day have a great weekend enjoy the rest of the day and don't forget to click on the link in the description of this video whether it's up or below depending on where you're watching it if you're watching the replay and don't forget to share like the page and follow all right so that you know when you're getting so you know when i go live and you get the notification when i go live have a great one talk to you soon bye